This is Callan Bentley. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this uh, Rockies field course that we're running this summer. It's in Montana and Wyoming. We fly out to Montana and then we rent vans out there and we drive ourselves around the state of Montana, at least the western half of it, and we dip down into Wyoming as well. The dates are June 29th to July 14th, so that's a little over two weeks, 15 days, 14 nights. The class is a four credit lab class, so it counts as a lab science for Northern Virginia Community College. The lodging will be a mix of camping and uh, staying in dormitories at Montana State University. It costs $1,600 bucks plus tuition plus food. So the $1,600 bucks covers your airfare, all of your lodging, it covers several meals, it covers all of the uh, ticketed items, so the museum visits and special tours and things like that. It covers our van rentals. Basically, it covers everything that you, you need to spend money on out there with the exception of food. And the reason we leave food out of it for the most part is uh, different people have different food needs. And some people like to spend more and some people like to spend less. Tuition's not included in the 1600, so whatever your Nova tuition is, you'd be paying four credits of that as well. This is my co-instructor, Pete Berquist from Thomas Nelson Community College. Pete's holding up a column of basalt here. You can see that there's a fair number of these columns scattered all over the hillside behind him. This is in the Gallatin Range, just south of Bozeman. Elsewhere in the Gallatin Range, you can see these extraordinary uh, lahar deposits from the Absorca Volcanic Series. These are volcanoes that erupted throughout the Rockies around 15 million years ago and just basically covered the landscape in lava flows and lahar deposits, volcanic mud flows. This is a look at the Beartooth Plateau. We drive over the Beartooth Plateau from Yellowstone into Red Lodge, Montana. These are some of the oldest rocks in North America, and of course the landscape here is a classic glacial landscape, so it's one of the youngest landscapes in North America, so a neat contrast there. We visit Glacier National Park in Montana, which is a pretty spectacular place. At Glacier National Park, you can see the contact here between an igneous sill, which is the dark rock below the red line, and the sedimentary rocks it intrudes into. Here is uh, good evidence of how good the weather is out in Montana. Usually it's uh, dry and clear, and uh, basically a lot of the students end up sleeping outside without a tent uh, when we're in the camping phase of the trip. Um, I personally bring a tent with me, but it's up to you uh, how you, you end up uh, accommodating yourself during the evenings. Here's a look at some of the thermal pools and the uh, extremophile bacteria that live in them at Yellowstone National Park. We do a mapping exercise at this place. This is Sandy Hollow. You can see there's some pretty great uh, geology to be mapped out here. We really emphasize observation and interpretation, taking good field notes, making field sketches. And we do several mapping exercises that help prepare students for higher level mapping exercises in geology. So I hope that this has piqued your interest and that you might be uh, considering joining us next year. We really have a spectacular itinerary and we have a great time every year. Students uh, tend to tell us that this is one of the greatest learning experiences they've ever had. Now we do require basically some, some pretty rough physical activity, hiking several miles at high elevation over rough mountainous terrain. So we need our students to be in good physical shape. So this might be a great opportunity for you to finally make good on that New Year's resolution to get in better shape because if you're not in good shape when you get out here, you end up basically uh, not getting as much done, not learning as much, and, and dragging the group down. So we encourage everybody to uh, really to train for the class. And we'll schedule a few pre-trip hikes where we go out and uh, basically hike in our area, like in Shenandoah National Park or something like that, as training for the trip. So I hope you're interested. Give me a call or shoot me an email if you want to talk more. If you go to the course website, which is right here, you will be able to find a complete itinerary and the application form for the class. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a lot.